Today we're going to be focusing on shipping and collecting EP catheters. Wearing the appropriate PPE, going to the collection area. You would generally find collections in a drawer system like this. Your EP catheters will be in one of the drawers. If your facility is doing EP cable collections, you wanna make sure that they are kept separate and the bins are already labeled. You'll grab your collections and make sure that they are lightly coiled and bagged. If you need to re-bag or recoil anything, feel free to grab any additional bags from this collection bag door that we have for the facility. You will need to have a square cardboard box built and lined with a piece of foam. As you place your EP catheters into your box, you want to make sure you keep a tally of what you're collecting and differentiate the two types of catheters that you might be collecting. These with a bigger handle will be considered your steerable catheters. We'll go ahead and place them in your bag and in your box. These with the big handles are two steerables. So, so far we have four. And I'm trying to disperse some of the volume by stacking them. These with the big handles here are two more steerables. This with the little handle is a fixed catheter. So now that I've kept a tally, I know that I have six steerables and one fixed. I will go ahead and place one more piece of foam with the texture facing down into my box. Remembering my tallies, I will go ahead and seal my box. Make sure that this goes back to Innovative Health in Arizona. Remember to put this in the designated shipping area.